What would you do without me? What would you do? Where would you be today? I'll tell you where. Somewhere else, probably. Sick to death of your terrible websites. Who do you think you are? Once again, you're relying on me to bail you out. When are you gonna stand on your own two feet? When? I'm sick of it. Here we are again. I'm gonna give away more of my secrets. Let's have a look at how I do my website. How I build websites quickly without wasting my brain energy on design. So this is codinggoblin.com. This is my website that I use to generate business for myself. Try to. Your business is just a joke. Like before, color scheme, logo, components. Let's do it, this is how I do it. See this logo up here, looks professional. Did I design it? No. What do you think this is? Who do you think I am? I did not design it. Let's go and have a look. Canva. Logo. Design. I need the goblin, obviously. Goblin. That looks good. Click on it. Click on it again. Adjust it. Change that. You get the point. Make it a different shape. I need to make it landscape again because a square logo will mess up your navigation bar, almost certainly. Less the logo sorted. Oh, in this case, I actually, I used to keep the, I did keep it this red color originally, but then I changed it to yellow um, based on a theme for, for a thumbnail I, I found. It looked nice. I just took the colors off it. Again, that was on Canva. It's good, use these tools. Don't use your brain, use these tools. So that's how I did the logo. I took the color scheme from the logo originally. It did used to be a red color scheme on codinggoblin.com. Then when I changed the logo to yellow, that's how I then changed the theme of the whole website to yellow. So pretty self-explanatory. So that is the logo and the color scheme. Look, if you'll see, I've used the gray and the yellow from the logo and the white throughout the website. So it's, it's so easy to do it this way. It's so quick, easy. Don't waste your brain energy thinking about design if you're not a designer. You're not gonna be able to make something as good as this if you're not a designer. Okay, right. And then for the components, once again, Tailwind UI. Always Tailwind UI. Components. Let's have a look. Got a hero section here. We did that last time. Logo cloud. You think I you think I faffed around with doing all that, writing the code for that? No, of course not. I used Tailwind UI. They've got you covered for everything. Logo clouds. It's going to be responsive. It's going to work nicely. You don't have to think about that. What else? Let's have a look. So this was four general text sections like this. Just a little hint for you. They don't really have that on Tailwind UI because I guess they probably assume that you're not like completely stupid like me. They don't. They think that you are capable of doing a text section for yourself. But unfortunately, they are wrong in thinking that. So what I do is I go on to the call to action sections and I have a look and I basically take one of these and I align the text left and I use their spacing and I'm turn it into a text section because unfortunately even that's too much for me to just put a bit of text on the page while we're here. Look familiar? Stop thinking about things and just take action. And the reason I am so passionate about this is because if you can act fast, you can build fast and you can get stuff out there quickly and you're not gonna lose motivation. How many times have you started a project or a website and you're so motivated and everything's exciting and you're building it and it's going well and then a week goes past and you're still working on it. You're still, you're tweaking things when you should be 
just banging it up there quickly, getting it live, get it live as soon as possible and tweak it once it's live. Just get stuff up there. I haven't spent hours and hours tweaking this. I've just bunged it up there, changed the colors and then focus on the important things, which are the actual content for your website, because it's easy to fall into the trap of, oh, I'm a web developer. The important part is the website and how it looks. Yeah, that's important. But the content, if you're doing content as well, if you're doing everything, if you are taking control, if these are your own projects, the most important thing is the content on your website. That's what people are going to be reading. That's what is going to be good for your SEO. It's not important to be spending days and hours tweaking the design because only you are going to know. No one cares. Get your websites live as soon as possible. I like to get a website live on day one, even if it's just one page. Get it live because once it's live, something switches in your head and you realize what's actually important. You realize, oh, okay, I've got it live. Uh, I've just used like dummy text. Okay, that needs changing. And you start to prioritize properly. That is the key, prioritizing. That is how I built Coding Goblin very, very quickly. I obviously did spend more time on it in the future after the initial build, but that is how I did it initially. I just blitzed it, absolutely blitzed it. This isn't the point of the video, but feel free to go and actually check out the website. I'll put the link in the description. I've got some tutorials on there some interesting stuff just have a look at the blog if you want if you don't want to don't worry about it i've seen a tortoise build a website quicker than you